watching this live. Good morning. Good morning, middle school students and class of 2020. Good morning to our parents, our staff, our community members. We're so happy that you could join us today for this virtual graduation ceremony for our eighth grade students. We're going to begin this program today by starting as we would any school day with the flag salute. At this time, I'm going to ask Mr. Chapman to come forward to lead us in the flag salute. Good morning, everyone at home. Again, congratulations on this day. Would everyone please stand for the flag salute? Attention, salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you everyone and you may be seated. Again, my name is Nanette Stewart and I am the principal of the Middle School of Pleasantville. I'm very pleased that you all could join us this morning for this virtual graduation ceremony. I wanted to begin today's program by saying congratulations to all of those eighth graders and to the class of 2020 on your accomplishment. Although you can't be with us today here physically and your presence is not here in the building, we still feel your spirit and we are very proud of you. And so we are happy to present to you today's graduation ceremony. Today, you're going to hear from several staff members as well as several students. You will be hearing from your top two students, Mithili Paz and Mia Torres who will share some inspirational words with you, as well as other district and Pleasantville City Council staff members. members. Uh, at this time, we're going to begin today's program, however, with some words of encouragement and congrat congratulations by Mr. Carmine Bonani, our assistant superintendent. Mr. Bonani. Thank you very much, Mr. Stewart, and congratulations to everyone on your accomplishments in this very different, uh, strange kind of school year. Shame we couldn't share the end of the school year with all of you, but uh, we're moving on. You're moving on, and I congratulate you on your efforts. If I have two words of advice just for you before I go, I'm only for a few moments here. Number one, summer's here. Enjoy yourselves. You've worked hard. You've earned it, as have your teachers, your parents. Everyone's worked hard through this epidemic, pandemic that we've dealt with. That's the first thing. Secondly, if you get a job, which I trust you do, nice to have some cash, do it well. Work well. Work as hard there as you did during the school year. And thirdly, when you get to high school, whatever that high school may be, and I certainly hope, we certainly hope, it's Pleasantville High School. A lot of good things happening over there that you're going to be very excited about getting involved in. Get involved in activities at your high school. You've only got four short years there. And there are so many activities to get involved with. Teams, committees, different activities and organizations that will remind you that Pleasantville is a great place to be and you want to make these wonderful memories for yourself because it's going to go by very quickly. So get involved in high school. Enjoy your high school experience, enjoy your summers, and once again, congratulations on behalf of everybody here, all the administrators of the Pleasantville Schools. Thank you. Good summer. Now I'd like to introduce to you Mrs. Victoria Williamson, who has some comments. She will be the future middle school assistant principal. Mrs. Williamson, if I ask you to step up for a moment and make some comments. Good morning, everyone, and congratulations to the class of 2020. Just a few comments regarding your Chromebook, uh, re returning of your Chromebooks. I'm going to give you the date and time in which you should return your Chromebooks on June the 16th. If your name begins with A through H, 
your time is 9 to 10 a.m. If your name begins with I through P, your time is 10 to 11 a.m. If your name begins with a Q through Z, your return time is 11 to 12 p.m. Please be reminded that once you return your Chromebooks, you will receive your certificates as well. And be sure to have your Chromebook plugs with you. Thank you and enjoy your summer. Again, eighth grade students in our class of 2020, we want to congratulate you on this milestone. This is just the beginning of the journey. You're closing one chapter of a book while you prepare to open another as you move towards the high school. Congratulations, best of luck. We will truly miss you and it has been a pleasure. At this time, Mr. Chapman is going to present information to you virtually as well as uh, video slides. Please stay tuned for this video portion of the program. Hi, MFT graduates. graduates. This is Joy Agpair. And Nick Sigabura with your virtual 2020 graduation. This year ended a little rocky, but we pulled through it. And regardless of all the events happening these past few months, we would like to congratulate you for all of your hard work. So let's get started. I want to congratulate and introduce this year's valedictorian. Here's Mithili Das with a few words. Hi, my name is Mithili Das, and I'm the Middle School of Pleasantville's 2020 valedictorian. Today is a special day because one, this is our first virtual graduation ceremony, and two, we have finished a chapter in our lives and are moving to the next. Before coming to MSB, I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life and I didn't know who I could turn to for help. We are all born with a set of talents, personality traits, and skills, but without the proper guidance, these characteristics will go to waste. That's where education comes in. Education helps us realize our strengths and weaknesses so we can choose the right path for a successful career. So for the past three years I've attended MSP, I've learned that not only is education important, but cooperating with my peers and learning from my mistakes is just our face in the future. The world is always changing with better opportunities and new experiences. Some of us already have an idea of who we want to be, some of us are still unsure. Regardless, we are all racing towards the same goal. Graduating from middle school is a big milestone for us, but this graduation is just the beginning. The journey ahead may not be easy, and most of us will stumble at some point, 
But as long as we continue on to work hard, we'll pull through. We've come so far already, so why stop now? We aren't alone. We have our friends, our teachers, and our family members to help us out. It's unfortunate that we couldn't finish the year as we had planned, and even we have a few regrets. I regret not being able to probably say goodbye to my friends or not being able to write about your graduation speech. But this is in the end. If we can survive this pandemic, we can survive the future. Despite everything, I am glad to have been part of the MSB family and I am grateful for everyone who has encouraged me to be who I am today. Thank you and congratulations to the entire MSB class of 2020. Stay home and stay safe. Now we would like to congratulate this year's salutatorian for all of her hard work. Here's Mia Torres with a few words. Hello everyone, I am Mia Torres, your MSP 2020 Sally Tutorian, and I was given the task of talking about my past experience at MSP and how it has shaped me into who I am today. Now if you didn't know, I moved to New Jersey right before 6th grade started, so I can really say that it was a wonderful journey growing with new people I found who suited me. However, this ride we had definitely had its challenges. Most of them in the beginning were we had multiple teachers for the first time and we were just trying to memorize this totally new three-tiered territory and we were trying to be perceived as cool. Not to mention how it took some of us some time to find the right group of people who supported us. Now, I wasn't always the best at overcoming these obstacles, and I can vividly remember one of the first few days of sixth grade where I'm on the third floor trying to get down to the first to catch my bus, and I'm on my phone going down the stairwell, <laughs> and I just got off when I felt it was right. So I'm in the A-wing, I walk over to the C-wing, no cafeteria. And I was so confused and I just kept going back and forth and back and forth until I saw through the corner of my eye that there were people going down the stairs. And that's when I realized I spent almost 10 minutes in a U formation just moving back and forth on the second floor. And the only thing that's going through my mind is I hope nobody noticed. <laughs> yeah, memorizing the school wasn't my forte. And neither really was making the right friends. For a long time, I was trying to fit in with people who had absolutely nothing in common with me. Why? I'm not sure. Maybe at the time I just thought they were higher on the middle school food chain than I was. But it wasn't fun. And only after a very, very, very long time did I stop. And I started over. I acquainted myself with people who had similar schedules with me and seemed nice and I just tried to stay true to myself the whole time and it didn't take long for me to find the right group of people who supported me and the people who appreciated me for me. If you didn't already, once you learn how to be yourself and love that person, everything else just gets easier. The people similar to the real you attract and you find yourself having the time of your life. <laughs> that is why I am offering the same advice to you guys for this next chapter of our lives for high school. Be and love yourself and everything else you want will follow. Now we had a lot of opportunities and activities through middle school, definitely from eating pizza with the mayor to going to professional sports games, which was really cool. Um, and even though we didn't get to finish it all in a typical way with our end of the year activities like Six Flags and bowling and the dance, I liked what we did have. We had each other and we definitely had fun and that is what I'm going to remember. Congratulations, graduates. Thank you, Methali and Mia, for your wonderful speeches. In addition to Methali and Mia, our students who are academic achievers and also made it into this year's top 10. These students are Mariela Contreras, Adixa Cabrera, Jelena Chajulo, Marbina Jenning, Giselle Vivera, Mi Joy Agpan, Ilieri Poot, and Corelli Nunez. 
Congratulations on all your hard work. Next up, we have Mayor Jesse L. Tweedle Sr. who would like to put in a few words. Hi, this is Jesse Tweedle, the mayor of the great city of Pleasantville. On behalf of the city of Pleasantville, city council, and this administration, we want to congratulate all of the Pleasantville Middle School students. As you go through high school, you're going to become more competitive, more productive, and more responsible individuals. So we're counting you to be our future. God bless you all, and you need to know the city of Pleasantville is very proud of you. We also have city council president, Ms. Judy Word. Congratulations, Pleasantville Middle School students, class of 2020. You did it, you made it, you are moving on to the high school. I am so proud of you. I wish you all well, and I say congratulations to the parents and guardians as well. This was really, really a tough year for all of us with the pandemic and everything, but you did it. You did everything that you had to do to graduate, and I am so proud that you're moving on. I know when you get to the high school, you may be a little intimidated, and I know also that it won't last long, but I just ask that you stay focused, do everything that you're supposed to do, and move on. Congratulations, I'm proud of you, I love you, and I wish you well. I'll see you at the high school. Mwah. Following up, we have our assistant principal, Mr. Chapman. To the 2020 eighth grade class of the middle school of Pleasantville. Today is a great day to celebrate such a joyous occasion such as this. While I understand that you and your families would love to have celebrated in a much more traditional manner, like having your families meet together, watch you march into the high school gymnasium wearing your maroon gown, or walking across the stage to receive your certificate because of the coronavirus pandemic, that could not happen. This year is one you will never forget. You have endured tragedy, mental trauma, adversity, change, and an absence of a typical eighth grade school year. Through it all, you made it to this point and you should be extremely proud of yourselves. I'm proud to say that I did it with you. I told you back in January at an assembly that I was finishing up my doctoral studies and I want you to know that I finished and you can now call me Dr. Chapman. But this day is yours and not mine. Just remember that you have the strength, tools, knowledge, and ability to make it through any situation. Stay committed, be active in your high school, especially PHS, and do your part to make this world a better place for all of us. Congratulations, middle school class of 2020. I salute you. And last but not least, our MSP principal, Ms. Stewart. Good morning, students, parents, staff, board members, district personnel, and the entire Pleasantville community. My name is Nanette Stewart. And I stand here before you today as the proud principal of the middle school. We're so very pleased that you are able to join us today, be it virtually, for this outstanding and prestigious event. Today marks an accomplishment for our eighth grade students. Those learners who have worked tirelessly and walked the halls of our campus for almost three years now. Today represents the achievement of a milestone in these students' lives, one that, although being celebrated and recognized under unique conditions, still brings about pride and tears of joy. Indeed, as we continue to navigate through this unprecedented pandemic, our eighth grade learners have continued to strive to meet the challenges set before them through this virtual learning experience. And though there is not the usual pomp to accompany these circumstances, as we pay tribute to our class of 2020 graduates, it does not tarnish the congratulatory words and heartfelt wishes being bestowed upon these students, our champions and leaders of tomorrow. Today, I call our middle school class of 2020 graduates to show up and show out as champions, our hope for tomorrow because they are just that. I know that over the last three years, you students have frequently heard middle MSP learners referred to as champions. And so I use that term purposefully to refer to our graduates today. For our graduates are indeed champions, for they must be champions in order to survive and thrive in today's world. Our students deserve that title, champions because the term honestly resonates and defines learners who are marking this special day during these pandemic times. For who are champions? 
Champions are those individuals who do not sink under difficult circumstances, but instead rise above their situation to become and remain triumphant. Champions are those people who lead the way rather than follow the status quo. Champions understand victory and never surrender. They know that everyone falls, but the difference is champions get up because you don't get to be a champion without a struggle. Champions are unafraid to take risks, for they can visualize the prize of tomorrow's blessings. Champions are those people who think smarter and work wisely, rather than spend exhaustive hours on tasks that can be accomplished with just a little ingenuity. Champions recognize the idea of collective responsibility and manifest a teamwork concept, understanding that together we can do anything. Champions will not be denied. They understand that no one can tell them who and what they can be. They believe they can change the world. Because belief has moved continents and countries. It has put a man on the moon and a black man in the White House. And it can carry you through this and other battles. Champions are those people who seek out new and innovative ways to make a difference when change is needed. They pave the way to our future. Champions are the change agents of tomorrow. Champions make a difference. As class of 2020 graduates of the Middle School of Pleasantville, I say to you, for your siblings, classmates, parents, and community, recognize the possibility that this world has for you is to become a part of the process. During these uncertain times, know that our champions are being called upon to step towards the future to build a greater and more just society. So as you step out of the middle school and into the unknown, know that while walking through the halls of the middle school, you have acquired the grit and drive to sustain yourselves as champions capable of conquering whatever is placed before you. Today, I'm grateful to stand as the principal of the middle school before this undefeated championship record-setting, history-making class of 2020. You have shown up to win, even in adversity. Now, I know that we are headed towards an uncertain future, and things will not always be as they were before. But as champions, you can work to make the world better, because when we go through tough challenges, we learn about who we are and what we value. Remember that although... Today, you don't get to walk across the stage with the usual circumstances. You have a unique opportunity to be champions for change. This MSP class of 2020 may have entered the world during the era of 9-11 and graduated during a pandemic ex experience, but they are champions, dreamers, and history makers. And today, while we know that history will remember you, let's hope that you don't have to worry about whether his references to you are kind. Let's hope that as champions, you define yourself. You write your own praises, knowing that no one can tell you what you can or cannot be. I challenge each and every graduate of the Middle School of Pleasantville Class of 2020 to use your own passion to harness your education, your creativity, your voice. Champion your causes and rebuild the world to make it a better and more just place. Continue to inspire through your example. Savor the good, dream big, and make a difference in this world. Congratulations to our champions and the best of luck to you all.
Pleasantville Middle School Class of 2020, you did it. Just remember, you choose your future. No one else will. So you have to make sure it counts. Make good friends, good grades, wise decisions, and make every day count. So with that being said, I just want to say, I, Carla Thomas, proclaim that the eighth grade of Pleasantville Middle School has met all the requirements as set forth by the state of New Jersey. I just want to say have a great summer and see you next year.